The issue bordering on high-handedness by security agencies against civilians in Nigeria and the world, these and many more provoked a 14-day protests that rocked many states in Nigeria, calling for the disbandment of a former notorious police unit anti-robbery squad SARS in 2020. For Nigeria, the worrisome maltreatment and killing of civilians is mostly driven by weak state syndrome and failed governance policy. This event, organized by a civil society legislative group, is to beam light on the precariousness of protection, strains and pain from the protection of civilians and civilian harms mitigation in armed conflict. It's a continuous um, effort that we will have to continue to do because we need to make sure that uh, security of Nigerians, especially civilians in armed conflict, are properly protected and there should be effort to ensure that uh, security personnel are properly trained to minimize the casualties that you know, many of our civilians have continued to encounter. The civil society group wants security agencies to protect the civilians rather than being a threat to the people they are to protect. The organization revealed that media reports of total civilians killed in 2020 stands at 3,457 and 4,234 in the year 2021. CISLAC as an organization will continue to work with the Nigerian police to ensure that the complaint response unit of the Nigerian police is established so that there will be proper also uh, civilian uh, police relationship because once there's a proper understanding you know, between the communities and the police, we will be able to achieve better policing and we will be able to also report misconduct of some of the bad eggs within the police. While security operatives killed at the same period stood at 678 in 2020 and 818 in 2021. Information sharing and working in synergy between all the security agencies and citizens could limit and protect Nigerians from unwarranted killing of civilians and security operatives. The organization says it has filed over 123 cases with 47 cases completed and justice served. The group also launched an app where women who have been sexually abused by security agents can equally lay their complaints. Casmer. Oh, Zerimo, LTV.